Oh, that day I woke up like any other day. I went to work. I started working almost for the weeks pregnant. Exina is one of our fantastic nurses at the Fistula Care Center in Lilongwe. She had been taking care of our patients. We just got to chatting, seeing how she felt. I, I could not even feel anything, but Dr. Jeff said that you look so weak. Something was off. Our team felt that if she continued on, the likelihood of having a problem with the baby was high. We went uh, and did an ultrasound, took a look at the baby and noticed uh, the baby looked fine, but had very low fluid. So at that point, uh, she and I agreed that she would go for evaluation. They called us and told us about her case and that she obviously needed high surveillance. In every one of our 1,000 live births, you have about 29 that will not make it. This is not normal. One of the challenges that we have had is the staff to patient ratio. No matter how many times you increase the number of midwives on the floor, the fetal monitoring could still not get to a one-to-one -one ratio. We knew that some form of fetal monitoring was necessary in order to further reduce the rates of babies dying inside the womb during labor or dying shortly after labor related to birth asphyxia. And this is where we came into partnership with PeriGen to implement the PeriWatch program. PeriWatch has helped quite a lot. If you're monitoring nine moms on a labor floor, each one of them is on a monitor, and you have one nurse who's at a central screen she's able to make a decision much quicker, much better, with the information that's already been decoded at the first level. The day that Exina was referred, you can imagine she was anxious, but we were able to calm her down and we put her on fetal monitoring. In her case, she was doing fine until there were fetal heart rate changes. That was when we took her in and did a C-section. We were able to act immediately and very rapidly. And this was a result of monitoring her. I think that is what led to her good outcomes. So this is Bebelinda Muhango. She's two months and two weeks old. I do believe that her baby probably would not be here if it wasn't for PeriWatch. Once we instituted the PeriWatch system, we saw an 80% reduction in stillbirths and early neonatal deaths. It has a great impact on the lives of people here. Our pregnant women can be saved. I feel so excited that I've created a tiny living thing in my life. <laughs> somebody who can make me happy.